Yo, it's your DC Truth from DC Truth Nation.com, where we cover hoops and heroes. Wait a minute. Um, maybe we just cover heroes because they just canceled hoops for the rest of the season? What? What? Oh, man. That's making me nervous, y'all. Now, that's making me nervous. Like, don't get me wrong. I was taking the virus seriously. I was double washing my hands. I was washing my hands before the virus. I'm double washing them now. But seeing them lose out on all this cash has me thinking, man, this thing may be more serious than I thought. But before I jump too deep into it, if you like my content, please sub to the channel. OK, so before I give you my deep thoughts on this, we have to kind of put a dunce cap on your boy Rudy Gobert. Like, I feel like he shouldn't get the total blame for this, but some of the blame has to go to him. Cause he was mocking this whole coronavirus thing, touching microphones and stuff. And like, if you believe in karma, well not karma, maybe that's the wrong word, but if you believe in like uh, bad mojos and how you can draw something to you, then he did that. He drew this to the NBA, man. So I gotta blame him for this. Maybe not all of it, but a part of this. Maybe this would've happened without him. Maybe someone else would've got infected, but I doubt this happens as soon as it did if he wasn't being silly, touching microphones and touching people and all this crazy stuff. So, God dang it, Gobert. God dang it. And don't get me wrong. I know this is a Spurs channel, but come on, guys. The Spurs ain't doing nothing this year. I love them to death. We were headed for probably a playoff miss for the first time in 22 years. But outside of that, it has been a pretty entertaining NBA season, and it hurts for me to see it go. Now, I don't know how this is going to go. They could reinstate the season two weeks from now. Who knows? But, man, we had some good storylines, y'all. Man, the Clippers versus the Lakers. You see what I'm saying? That's a good matchup right there. Do you go for Kawhi or do you go for LeBron? For a Spurs fan, that's kind of hard to pick. You get what I'm saying? So that was a good matchup. Then you got the Giannis and the Bucks. Going up against the Celtics, you still got the Raptors up there. Are the Sixers going to get together? You know, what's going to happen to Houston? Is Houston going to fizzle out? It was so many storylines story that were going well for this NBA season. So it just hurts from a fan perspective to see them diminish. Man, this season altogether has just been so bizarre and so odd and so hurtful. When you think about the Kobe Bryant death and his daughter and all that stuff, man, that was heavy. That took a toll on the season. And then now the season is gone altogether because of a virus. Man, you can't write this stuff. A year ago, if you would have told me this, I would have thought you was crazy, man. And it's just unfortunate from a fan's perspective. I'm an NBA fan. Yes, I'm a Spurs fan. That's my team. I love those dudes. I'm a fan of the game. And just to see it halted over something like this, it's just unfortunate. You know, of course, there's bigger things going on. I hope they get a vaccination for this virus and get this thing under control. Life is definitely more important than just a game. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I'm not sitting here whining. But at the same time, it's like, wow, man, life is very fragile. You know, we take a lot of stuff for granted. This is one of them. This is definitely one of them, man. I, I can't wait to see what happens next. I hope everything is positive and we get things back on track. But this is crazy. Wow. Again, this situation is unprecedented. I, I feel like I'm rambling, but I just don't know what to say. I don't know how to express my feelings. It's so odd. It almost feels like a dream. Like I never would have thought things would have came to this this quickly. It is so bizarre. And I hope, you know, the things that matter, family, friends, human life, takes precedence over all this game stuff but man it's still weird not to have the nba right now and this affects way more than just the players think about the people who work at the stadiums and take the tickets that serve the food the hot dog people the merchandise people the people in the parking lot everybody around the stadium the restaurants the coffee shops everybody is going to be affected by this thing man it's bigger than my channel heck i do this for fun what about the people that have their livelihoods hooked up to the NBA, the cameramen, the makeup artists that do the shows? Everybody is affected by this, man. And it's really going to hurt their pockets and hurt their dollars. You just got to pray for everybody in the situation. This is bad seeing the NBA go down like this. The players, you know, they're millionaires and I'm sure they have trust funds and protection. But what about the normal men? What about the parking vendors? You know, what about, you know, you see what I'm saying? The people connected behind the scenes. Let's pray for them, man. This is bad.
All right, guys, that's it for this one. Just some thoughts on this coronavirus and the NBA shutting down. Let me know in the comment section below how you feel about this situation. Thanks for watching, guys, and I appreciate the support. Peace.